Any other questions or comments, guys, before I go on? Uh, okay, just yep. like we're talking to him, I, can't, I don't know if you remember, but, uh, some few weeks ago. Can I give you that, bro? Yes, Thank I you. Was, and could I get another uh, bottle of water, please? You were there, and I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, go on, sister. After some time, I had to leave. We yeah. were quite busy discussing with some other guy. Yeah. Just what you told him, because um, I usually come here once in a while. I'm a born again Christian. Yeah. Thanks now, be to God. Long time Thanks now. be to God. The first time I came here, I wanted to share flyers, and these two guys approached me. Yeah. You know, with these ridiculous questions and all that. And yeah. I knew they wanted to go into an argument with me. Yeah. And I told them, look, I'm here to share flyers. Yeah. I'm not here to argue with you. Yeah. They kept on our own. I said, look, there, there is Bob over there. You know, I was just directing yeah, yeah, yeah. to people like you. Yeah, they that's the get, right thing to do. Yeah, well done. They don't like, they, I wanted to talk to you. I was waiting to ask you a question. Yeah. I came that uh, very day and I met these two black guys. According to them, they are satanics and all that. Yeah. So uh, we got talking and all that. And one of them asked a question, which was quite a very genuine question. Yeah. That even I, as a Christian, you know, I didn't know how to ask okay. him, answer him and all So that. what was that the question? Was, I forgot it, so it's been a long time. Oh, I'm that sorry. That was why I was waiting for you. That I am day so to, sorry. To tell you what yeah. you asked me and yeah. how you could have answered it yeah. and all that. But it, it totally skipped my mind now because it's, it's been over Well, I'll tell you what, if the question if the question comes back to you, it, it, it come and grab me. It had, it had to do something in the line of uh, why do God allow evil? Yeah. Not that direct though, but there was something yeah, quite yeah. Uh, you know intelligent yeah. question that he did ask. You know? Well, I can I can and give you I can give yeah. you an answer to, to the general question of the theophany. Yeah. Uh, no, the the what's the, the problem now? It's got a philosophical term. I've just gone straight out of my head. Uh, the idea of the problem of evil, right? Yeah, yeah. As Christians, we believe that that in in God's economy, right? Um, Okay, okay, I yeah, think I remember the question now that you, he said if God was all knowing, yes. you know, why did he know that there would be evil in the world yes. and he still went ahead yes. to create humanity? Great, you know, great question. Knowing that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, evil is going to happen, a lot of people are going to go to hell, yeah. you know, that, you know, why did he do it? That it's a great question. Be a wicked God, yep. knowing that people we end up in hell yeah. and he's still you know created I, so so what what yeah. i would have said to that was he a satanist yeah he's a satanist yeah he said he, in fact he said he was comfortable okay. with the devil okay so 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 let me let, let let so I'll, I'll give you a reply that he rather go to hell okay so let me know? give you a reply yeah. so so the the i hope what i would have said to this guy is well yeah. does that that means then that you're not going to have children mm. and the reason why you're not going to have children is because you know that your children are going to suffer you know that your children are going to experience wickedness. Yeah. You know that there's a chance your child might die. Now, if he says that he's going to have children anyway, yeah. right, then he's answered his own question. Because the reason why he wants to have children is an expression of his deep love. A love of the child he hasn't even yet had. Yeah. And the knowledge of the fulfillment that that love will give him right so he will want to have children yeah and he does it out of the love for the children he hasn't even yet got yeah and in an, an analogous way but not in an exact same way because god doesn't need to be fulfilled by creation of man yeah. but out of the abundance of god's love he creates human beings but he what he creates them because he wants them to lovingly know him and lovingly enjoy him. Yeah, I think I think. I think yeah, but I the think. condition, the condition exactly. of them being able to love him yeah. is that they must be free. And yeah, the condition. I think, I think I, I the answer that free will. Then you've got it, sister. Free will and choice, yeah, you exactly. Know? You've got yeah. it. So, uh, but the condition yeah. of free will is that evil must be there mm -hmm. because yeah. knowing God yeah. and loving God leads to moral growth. But moral growth must come from a world in which yeah. suffering is possible. Yeah. And finally, and finally, why does God allow suffering? 
the, the, God, the suffering, all the sufferings that we see in the world and have ever seen in history. God knows the future of every possible world and of every possible choice and how every possible choice affects every other possible choice and how every other possible choice affects every other possible choice in every possible combination. The world that exists is the world that God allows because God allows this world to exist knowing that this is the world in which most people choose to lovingly follow him. Does that make sense? You know, yeah, I did I did try a bit and swing them as well, you know, yeah. because my argument to them was that God did intend evil, that yeah. it was Adam and Eve yeah. that started that, uh, you know, evil. Uh, yes. So at that moment, yes. they now had a free will of choosing. And yes. humanity, human beings now had a free will to choose and yeah. make choices and all that, you know. So I answered them in that angle, but they keep saying that if God knew that people were going to go to hell that why did he allow that if he knew that Adam was going to fall that why did he create Adam in the first place yeah. then one of them now said that he's upset yeah. that God even created him yeah. and now said okay that you, you can go and die you know and yeah. just I choose to die. You don't have to leave. Yeah. You know, he said, no, that he's angry at God for creating yeah. him. That he has brought him in a world without asking his permission. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, they were just quiet, you know. For, for me, I tried to answer, but they were just coming. And what I know is the spirit of satanic spirit that was yeah. behind that argument. Because at some point, even my mind was like, you know, I began to be doubtful, but praise God. Because I'm born again, you know, and that, that was why I was like happy what you told this guy. You yeah. know, because sometimes, if you're not, you know, strong in your belief and in, in God, yeah. these people can sway your you mind did, you did, and begin to put down. Sister, you, you know? did, you did exactly the right thing yeah. by not being held victim. Mm -hmm. Or being held on a guilt trip by his his personal feelings. His personal feelings don't decide what's true. He might be angry at God for his own creation, but that doesn't invalidate your answer. And the reality is, you're right to hold the position that God doesn't intend evil, but he does intend a freely loving relationship. And therefore, that requires the, the, the freedom to walk away from God which is evil because it is the deficiency of the good of God, yeah. right? So you, it seems to me like you answered it well, oh. and you answered it very well. Yeah. So congratulations, sister. Well, thank you very I hope, God bless you. Thank you, thank All you right. so much.